My child is hanging around a bad crowd. What can I do? It's nearly impossible to tell a child or teenager not to be friends with another child or teenager. Saying that usually achieves the exact opposite effect, where we say, don't be friends with so-and-so, she's a bad influence on you, usually um, is greeted with a lot of resentment and anger from your child and, and has the opposite effect. So what we would hope to do when a child has started hanging out with others that we see are having a negative effect is to think about what is it that creates bonds between children, between teenagers. And what creates bonds in general among human beings is commonality. When I have something in common with somebody, I say, oh, I like that person. She gets me. Uh, we have the same interests. Now, if your child is gravitating towards friends who are interested in smoking up or, or hanging out on the streets till late at night or doing other negative and risky behavior, that means those are people who accept your child and who may have some common interests or in many cases, some common pain. When we help a child to get to a better place emotionally and to find some more positive interests, she will naturally gravitate towards others who are in less pain and who share her interests. So the goal is never to pull a child away from negative friends, but to help her find areas of interest that, that encourage her towards other friends who have healthy interests and who are doing healthy behaviors. The more healthy my child is, the more likely she is to gravitate towards healthy friends. The more positive alternatives my child is engaged in, the more positive and healthy interests she has, the more likely she is to gravitate towards friends who have those same interests.